Hello viewers, welcome back to Map Adventures. Today I am Asam High Secondary Education Council or 2018 or question paper kanar. Electrostatics or jikita question asila. Electrostatics man unit one or question kira solution sami discuss kabo isu. So we start with the question one G. 2018 or question number one G, which experiment established the fact that electric charge is quantized? Okay. So most seriously answer kabo isu. It is the Millikan's oil drop experiment. Okay. So the nature of uh, this quantized nature of electric charge was first discovered in the laws of electrolysis by Michael Faraday, and then subsequently the quantized uh, nature of electric charge <coughs> was experimentally proven by Milligan's oil drop experiment in the year 1912. Okay, so I'm delay answer complete. Then we move to question number 2A. Here for option I have. So this is question number 2A. Question number 2A first option to hold. Give the statement of Coulomb's law for force between two point charges. Write this law in vector notation for two point charges of same magnitude and opposite sign separated by a distance r in vacuum. Okay, so I'm statement to question. Statement to have a little bit. The Coulomb's law states that the force between two charges is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them and is directed along the straight line joining the two charges. So, since we are talking about the force, that at a magnitude thakibu, magnitude to ami carport depend kore bolikolo on the product of magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of distance. Ta a to amar magnitude to dipo and then the direction of the force is along the straight line joining the two charges. Okay. So, this is the first part. Second part to hold je ama ki use vector format lage write this law in vector notation aru condition ki diya se the two charges are equal. Okay. So, I mean, F to any hour, this force F in vector form is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. I mean, any other Q1, Q2 by R square, all R cap. A to hold Amar in general, I mean, do vector form of Coulomb's law. Because I am get question that do that charge human. So, since Q1 and Q2 are equal, no, I am going to q1 q2 and again dikhim na simply q likhim square kore dim all both are equal so q1 and q2 are equal ami hetu q square bli likhisu thik hai so this is the ultimate form f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this is a constant then q square by r square and r cap r cap is the unit factor along the straight line joining the two charges so this is question number 2a first option then we move to question number 2a second option okay so question number 2a second option to the maki kese Two point charges, 0 0.01 microcoulomb and minus 0 0.01 microcoulomb, are placed 10 centimeter apart in vacuum. Calculate the magnitude of electric field intensity at the middle point of the line joining the charges and mention its direction. So, <coughs> another question: It is almost always uh, preferable, but it is uh, convenient if we start with a diagram. Or more do the charge go so at a Q1, at a more 0.01 microcoulomb, arrow. At a minus 0.01 microcoulomb. Well, the two charges are straight line between these two charges. straight line well, The distance between them is 10 centimeter. Okay. And we are to calculate the electric field at some point at the middle. Well, a midpoint zone to us. So midpoint will get distance to Kimanabo. To the charge of I mean distance to 5 centimeter and 5 centimeter pound. Well, okay. So, it is a calculation start. Kru. Calculation will be going. Solution. Given quantities ki diya se. Eta charge se amar Q1 which is 0 0.01 micro coulomb. Mane, mo SI in dot likhile 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb bully dim. Well, aru second charge to Q2 which is minus 0 0.01 micro coulomb ba mo eto enake in si units 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 6 
Coulomb will be okay, and then zero distance is between the two charges that distance is 2r will be so this distance is 10 centimeter okay so I mean midpoint all the distance to sound it are the distance from one starts to the midpoint r this is equal to 5 centimeter or more to 0 0.1 meter and this can be written as 0 0.05 meter right next ami ki korim the electric field e at midpoint due to q1 al ki man hobo etuk moi e1 boli denote korisu e1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q1 by r square okay question number 1 Okay, we are only dealing with the magnitudes, not the directions. Direction to make a little less come. Then <coughs> the electric field at midpoint due to Q2. Even I have to E2 will be so. This is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q2 by R square. Okay, equation number 2 will be so. So final Z2 electric field of total electric field at midpoint. is equal to e will this so this e is equal to e1 plus e2 <coughs> okay so my <coughs> data values that behind you that my obvious at a come over one by four five seven one common value u1 by r square plus u2 by r square now we have seen that the magnitudes of q1 and q2 are equal okay so magnitude part to the sound magnitude part to common as a whole sign of available as a so since we are only dealing with the magnitude I mean magnitude to common level over I will have 1 by 4 pi epsilon not 2 q1 by r square okay so yet camera simplify go like one idea I mean fellow get a boy I do result will be able okay this 1 by 4 pi epsilon not has a value 9 into 10 to the power 9 and then 2 into q1 is 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by r to have 0 0.05 whole square oh so this is equal to 7.2 into 10 to the power 4 newton per coulomb okay so this is the answer for question number 2a second option Okay, so we move on to question number 3A, first option. So, question 2 is a 600 microfarad capacitor is charged by a 200 volt supply. It is then disconnected from the supply and is connected to another uncharged 600 microfarad capacitor. How much electrostatic energy is lost in the process? So, yet, <coughs> two capacitor is a, so initially, I mean, at a capacitor is a C1 and this capacitor is charged to a potential of 200 volt. Okay, so that means you have to charge store hobo. After that, it is disconnected and connected to another capacitor C2, that capacity is And then we have parallel connection. So, when the capacitors are connected, they will be in parallel. Because we have no connection here, we have no component. Nahi. So, now, due to energy loss, abo, this is due to the redistribution of charges between these two capacitors. Okay. So, charge at a capacitor, due to our 200 volt or we charge to C1. Abra. Since C2 was initially uncharged, we have no charge. Nasile, tale charge flow. Abo but the total charge will remain <coughs> constant okay so i mean yet x solve for example key current what i'm going solution <coughs> do the capacitor as a given quantities p as a given quantities get a my or a note below all c1 ro c2 do the capacitor as a do the capacitance command both of them are 600 microfarad all assigned to the new like it yeah i mean convert weapon a yeah and i get equal for 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree really over okay and z2 v1 when i first initial voltage z2 is 200 volt oscillate okay so once the capacitors are connected there will be a redistribution of charge after redistribution of charges the potential across the two capacitors will become same well the charge redistribution will go on but it will continue <coughs> Until the potential across the two capacitors become same. Hey, potential, I mean, common potential, 
the common potential common potential to hover v I denoted by v general formula for common potential is c1 v1 plus c2 v2 divided by c1 plus c2 okay since yet v2 will be 0 initial v2 to 0 as well the equation reduces to c1 v1 by c1 plus c2 yet further reduction hover key hover since c1 and c2 are equal ami v2 pump c1 by 2c1 and again and v so this gives us sorry v1 so v2 hover amar v1 by 2 okay yet my equation number did ho agotam koto diya na yet my equation number ta did ho equation number 1 will hol initially amar charge ki ma sorry energy ki man asile initial energy to ma ene ke likhisu E1 will denote koru. This initial energy was half C1 V1 square. Only in the first capacitor, second capacitor kunu charge nai. So kunu energy u nai. Okay. This is equation number 2. Final energy, mana final mana ki sa after redistribution of charges, the energy will be E2. This is half C1 V square because now the potential across both the capacitors are, is V. So I mean at a capacitor, first capacitor energy in one to form, second capacitor energy to have C2 V square. Okay. Now, since C1 and C2 are equal, I mean, it will twice half C1 V square. Okay. So, this will be reduced to E2 equal to C1 V square. Okay, sir. Now, here in the place of v, I mean, a equation one of the v value to bound, then I have c1 v1 by 2 whole square. All so e2 is equal to c1 times v1 by 2 whole square, that is 1 by 4 c1 v1 square. All right, equation number 3 will be Okay, so <coughs> now due to redistribution of charges, I am easy to difference pump. Okay. I mean energy lost to can get pump, it is simply the difference between E1 and E2. Okay. So energy lost is equal to delta E will you denote kuru. This is E1 minus E2. Okay. <coughs> E1 was equal to half C1 V1 square. Aru E2 was equal to 1 by 4 C1 V1 square. Take a so, C1 V1 squared will be common on the half minus 1 by 4 to give. Okay. And then, if let us say, C1 V1 squared. So, my value is over. C1 was 600 into 10 to the power minus 6. And V1 was 200. All square. So, this is equal to. So, this is our answer 6 into 10 to the power minus 2 but 0 0.06 joule is the energy lost in this redistribution process. Okay. So, our answer to in another complete way and then we move to the next question. Next question to hold question 3a second option to. Okay. Question 3a second option to mark at a diagram the answer. Our question to hold in the above diagram a particle of mass m and charge minus q initially moving along x axis with velocity vx enters the region between two charged plates the length of the plate system is l and uniform electric field between the plates is e what is the vertical deflection of the particle as uh, at the far edge of the plate okay so yet a question to ki my diagram to apa akina thaku yata bujai disu e jitu particle to ase e tu particle jitia e electric field region to thumai aibo it will experience an electrostatic force okay so since it is a negatively charged particle, this negatively charged particle will experience an upward force or a upward force to connect here, the path will become parabolic. So, path to the parabolic hegel, parabolic hegel, horizontal displacement, horizontal displacement to take away since it is already moving with a speed vx, but due to the electrostatic force, I mean, here vertical displacement pump, a vertical displacement to us, I'm a vertical displacement. So, vertical deflection to 
ओके सो एतु उलियाते आमाक इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक्स आइडिया लागिबो लगते वी आल्सो नीड सम आइडिया फ्रॉम मोशन इन अ प्लेन इन अ फर्स्ट ईयर दमा जेतु आसिले ओके सो आमाक काइनेमेटिक्स अर वन आइडिया यात अप्लाई करबो लागिबो सो सोल्युशन नो करिन मो गुटे स्टेप माने माजत जिखिनि लिखिबो लगे हे बुस्तु किन प्रपर एनेके लिखिन गयना थाखौ जस्ट मय मैथमेटिकल स्टेप किरा बुजाय बुजाय गयसु ओके सो जिरु टाइम लागिबो द टाइम टेकन बाय द पार्टिकल टु मूव फ्रॉम दिस एंड ऑल ए एंड टु ब्रा ए एंड टु लगे मूव करि बोले कारणे जितु टाइम लागिबो दैट टाइम टेकन इज टी सपोज दिस टी विल बी इक्वल टु एल व्हिच इज द लेंथ ऑफ द प्लेट्स डिवाइडेड बाय द स्पीड ऑल डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड फी एक्स ओके सो दिस इज द टाइम टेकन इक्वेशन नंबर 1 बोल लेथो ओके एज द पार्टिकल एंटर्स द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड रीजन द पार्टिकल विल एक्सपीरियंस अ फोर्स f which is equal to minus q e okay so it will our electric field to come along like that due to electric particle to the force experience okay since the particle has a mass m so from newton's second law of motion ami ki janu from newton's second law f is equal to m a all मास टाइम्स एक्सेलरेशन ओके इक्वेशन नंबर 3 एटिया मय ए दुटाक जदि इक्वेट करिसौ बिकॉज़ द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द पार्टिकल इज गिवन बाय दिस इक्वेशन दिस फोर्स विल रिजल्ट इन एन एक्सेलरेशन ए व्हिच इज गिवन बाय इक्वेशन नंबर 3 ओके कंपेयरिंग टू एंड 3 आमी की देखू जे एम ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस क्यू ई ओके सो यात ए माइनस साइन तो जैसे माइनस साइन तो कोनो अपन कन्फ्यूजन दा होबो पड़े म एटा काम करू म ए माइनस साइन तो निदु हल एखिनि पर म माइनस साइन तो निदु आई जस्ट रिमूव द माइनस साइन आई विल बी डीलिंग विथ ओनली द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द फोर्स ओके सो नेक्स्ट आमी एक्सेलरेशन तो पाऊ ए विल बी इक्वल टू क्यू ई बाय एम हल आई मार्क इट एज इक्वेशन नंबर 4 नाउ दिस एक्सेलरेशन विल रिजल्ट इन द वर्टिकल डिफ्लेक्शन ओके सो हे वर्टिकल डिफ्लेक्शन जेतु आसे दैट वर्टिकल डिफ्लेक्शन विल बी टू एस वाई बोली लिखु हल इज इक्वल टू यू वाई टी प्लस हाफ ए वाई टी स्क्वायर हल ए टू मो ए सब्सक्रिप्ट वाई व्हिच इज द एक्सेलरेशन हल नाउ सिंस यू वाई माने द वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट ऑफ वेलोसिटी वाज इनिशियली जीरो सो आमी ए टर्म टू फर्स्ट टर्म टू बुरेरो जीरो पाम this results in s y equal to half a y t square apal eto thakibo hol so yat amar a y jagat ahi jabo from equation number 4 q e by m aru t square jagat ahi jabo eto from equation 1 l by v x okay so ami t square jagat l by v x whole square will give okay so this is half q e l square by m v x okay so equation number 5 is the final answer this is the vertical deflection of the particle a vertical deflection since it is a negatively charged particle negatively charged particle work on the deflection will be upward okay it will be our final answer okay. so this is question number 3a second option then we move to question number 3b 3b first option to assume apply gauss law to derive the expression for electric field intensity due to an infinitely long straight uniformly charged wire what is the direction of electric field intensity if it is positively charged okay so yet since it is a derivation yet our diagram to must i mean for from the diagram to banai long so we have a straight wire mazot jita long straight wire dekhisu hol this axis is the straight wire which is uniformly charged aru yar kiba ata uniform mar linear charge density thakibo he term kita ami pisor ani thakim aru electric field density to uliya bole ami ki koribo laibo since yat electric field lines will be outward okay so since the electric field lines are in outward direction and age ami a surface to Tinta part logo dei. Hal we will divide the whole surface into three parts. Ada part hal 
a s1 s2 and s3 column all so suppose this upper surface is s1 yat mo eta horu ke surface element ta loisu all yat ds1 is the vector area aru electric field intensity at this point eta bahir phala jabo e okay efale mo eta ds2 lo all eto outward ds2 vector area aru electric field intensity thahibo bahir phala e all to every at every point the electric field intensity is outward ami etia e lateral surface jundu ase lateral surface to por eta area lo ds etu point ot electric field intensity to bahir phala jabo aru jitu vector area ase vector area ds3 etu anega bahir phala jabo all so ami ki dekhisu je the angle between the ds1 mane uh, vector area and the electric field intensity is 90 degree hol to yat 90 degree hoy ase a flow angle to 90 degree hoy ase but in this third case ami angle between the vector area and the electric field intensity zero pai ase okay so ei bostu amar derivation o dorkar hobo now we move on to the derivation okay solution is to total flux hobo total flux to the gaussian surface ei je to ami cylindrical surface to lesu the cylindrical gaussian surface to the total flux to this surface phi equal to close integration e dot ds all so ei je to close integration ase etu amar tinta surface ot ami tinta part kori dim so ami enega lesu close integration over surface s1 e dot ds1 plus close integration over surface s2 e dot ds2 plus close integration over surface s3 e dot ds3 okay so yat ki ase next step ami ki dekhin je since the electric field intensity and the vector area ds1 are perpendicular to each other a term to zero hoy jabo hol because the angle between them is 90 degree so cos 90 degree zero ahi jabo similarly amar second term jundu ase the second term will also reduce to zero so we are only left with the third term third term root e ds cos zero degree hobo so cos zero degree is one ultimately <coughs> amar sort sorry ek eta close integration hoy ek eta s3 e dot sorry e ds3 bithaibo okay so considering the electric field intensity to be uniform over the entire surface ami ki pam electric field intensity to constant rakhile close integration oh sorry integration over ds3 which is the lateral surface area okay so a ds3 to the ase integration over ds3 this gives e times 2 pi r l now a r r l je ase a r r l gita e gita hai r is the radius of this gaussian surface r and l is the length of this gaussian surface ba cylinder hol so l to hol length aru r to hol radius okay so this twice pi r l gives the surface area of this lateral surface and e is the electric field intensity okay equation number 2 will be derivative all now from gauss law ami etu janu je this phi is equal to u by epsilon naught total charge enclosed by the gaussian surface divided by epsilon naught yat etia amar a q to ki ahibo q will be lambda times l divided by epsilon of all equation number dito amare here lambda is equal to q by l is the linear charge density that means the charge per unit length okay so now we simply compare these two equations on equation number 2 and equation number 3 okay 
comparing equation 2 and 3. Ami kibam? Lambda L by epsilon naught equal to E times 2 pi R L. Okay. So, yad L do karkai dabo. Okay. L cancel dabo. Aru. Amar thakki dabo. E equal to lambda by 2 pi r epsilon 1 jigira constant terms ase constant terms dak me atrai lobo paru atrai lole 1 by 2 pi epsilon on lambda by r eto form ot likhibo paru okay this is equation number 4 to me yat diat ke better yat di equation number 4 so this is the electric field intensity expression for electric field intensity at this point or at any point on the lateral surface okay, sir? then what is the direction of electric field intensity if it is positively charged so electric field intensity direction to my electric field lines if it is positively charged then the electric field lines will be outward that is the electric field will be radially outward okay if it is negatively charged then the electric field lines will be radially inward okay so my direction to last of mention for this Really outward. So, we may not our answer to complete way. Okay. So, this is the whole answer to question number 3B, second option. Okay. Now, we move to the last question of this question paper, my electrostatics are at the whole question number 3B. Yet, Amak, it will level again, derive the expression for electric field intensity due to an electric dipole in vacuum for points on its axis. Compare the variation of field intensity with distance for an electric dipole and a point charge when both are kept in vacuum. Okay. So, here I will diagram it. I will start going. Mara point charge positive charge. I will do plus Q, which is located at point A, and minus Q located at the point B. Okay. This is the point of observation P. Okay. Yet, our electric field intensity to Kimano. I will have to do here. A to direction of electric field E1 due to the first charge and Due to the second charge, I mean electric field E two at a pi Okay, the resultant electric field to kiman hobo, I mean hetu do that sum to papam. Fix it. So I mean hetu liable a electric dipole door midpoint to no center to my obli mark to so take us to a zero dipole door. Say let suppose the distance of one charge from the center B A. Well, then since it is the midpoint, a two charge above distance to A hobo. Total distance between the two charges is twice a, and from the midpoint to the point of observation, our it will distance over. It will suppose x will be so, but r will be lower. So, however, you feel comfortable. Okay, sir. So now, I mean, keep going. Electric field at T due to the charge plus Q. Well, E one is equal to K one. So, this is the electric field at P due to the charge plus Q. The charge, charge at A. This is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by distance to Kimanova. The distance is A P square. Okay, so this, it is A P square. That is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by X plus A whole square equation number rate of 1 only. Okay, next I mean. The electric field at the same point P due to the second charge minus Q charge to Gana, E2 will be This E2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught magnitude to size of all. It is again Q by B P square. Okay. B P will be equal to X minus A whole square. Equation number. Okay, so now we have the expressions for electric fields due to Q1 and Q2 both. Now we need the total electric field intensity. The total electric field intensity to have total electric field at P is 
e which is equal to e1 plus e2 ठीक है सो आमी इतिया 1 by 4 pi epsilon not to do it have a common over problem from equations 1 and 2 and q2 common over problem q2 more by head letters 1 by x plus a whole square plus 1 by x minus a whole square okay sorry yeah the plus now go my ass over because these two electric fields are in opposite directions the opposite direction is work on a ami the two resultant bump this will be the difference well so my yeah minus a little over no or my other minus a little over however you like it well so my other minus this is a thing is a yeah my direction look my concern sir so he took on a my minus will be this is a next amic crystal easy to buy that common part to us a little to negative up back it to सिंपलीफिकेशन का काम है सर बाकी इतनी इमान की नहीं एक उन्हें नाउ सब्सटिट्यूटिंग इक्वेशन फोर in 3 आमे की बाम just a denominator आमे सब्सिट को बोले इसू e is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon not उपर ठाकी दो की या आमे जदी numerator साउं तेले numerator आट <coughs> minus 4 x a to you okay so here we have yet ami it a dipole moment to define go upon electric dipole moment as q into twice a okay so ami q or twice a is separate code it yale ami 1 by 4 pi epsilon not to lick you are oh x to take you over there 2 2 a into q okay and x and again one separate go look आउ टोलोट जी तो x square minus a square whole square असले तेने गिया से हल सो a q into twice a जगात मैं electric dipole moment बुली लिखे हो परू I have the relation 4 pi epsilon not to p x by x square minus a square whole square ओके okay? equation number 5 तो so, a to general equation है याद आमी जदी एटा condition apply करू जे x is very large compared to a man I'm already both basic road to see if the point of observation is very far away then if x is very large compared to a then a equation to simplify her ever one by four pi shall not take you a row for two p x is a little a hero idea x to the power four out since x square minus a square will be almost equal to x square so I mean x to the power four will be over that is at other x cut we have 1 by 4 pi epsilon not times 2 p by x cube okay so the electric field intensity is now 1 by 4 pi epsilon not times 2 p by x cube so this is the electric field intensity due to an electric dipole okay so amar second part to the second part to the is compared a variation of field intensity with distance from an electric dipole and a point charge when both are kept in vacuum okay so the electric field intensity okay so the electric field intensity due to a point charge is e dash equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon non q by r square that is it is proportional to oh sorry it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance whereas in case of a dipole e is inversely proportional to the cube of the distance it will be as to the key ठीक है सर तो इक्वेशन नंबर सेवेन एंड इक्वेशन नंबर एट बुली दिखो तो यार कंप्लीट कोई वो पारो और बेटर हो आगे जो दी लोगों टे ये टा सपोर्टिंग डायग्राम दी दियो ये तो सपोज ई करना है और ई दशा करना है ई करना जरूर होगा ये तो आरु स्टीफ हो जाते हैं अनेक जगह ओल्ड दिस इज़ फॉर ई ओके सो 
আমি কম্পেরিজন যদি এনেকে দেখাব দেখাবলে টাইম টু পাই তাহলে এটা দেখাই দিয়ারও ভাল ওকে সো দিস ইজ দ্য কম্পিটিশন অফ আনসার থ্রি বি সেকেন্ড অপশন ওকে সো ইমানতে আমার টু থাউজেন্ড এইটিনের ইলেকট্রোস্টেটিক্সর কুয়েশ্চনখিন শেষ হয় যদি আমার ভিডিও কিটা চাই লাভ হয়েছে তাহলে প্লিজ লাইক এন্ড শেয়ার দ্য ভিডিওস আর যদি ফিউচার ভিডিওসিনি চাবলে মানে নোটিফিকেশনখিন যদি বিচার তো প্লিজ সাবস্ক্রাইব দ্য চ্যানেল থ্যাংক ইউ